Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. And if you don't want to miss any informative videos in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification, when we post new video on the channel. In this video, I am going to show, a graphical calculation method to convert 4 to 20 mA signal into percentage. First of all, let's learn, how to convert 15.2 mA signal into percentage by using graphical calculation method. As you can see from this graph, this thick line is 11.2 mA long. In other words, it is the distance between 15.2 mA and 4 mA over the total length of 16 mA. So, to convert 15.2 mA signal into percentage, divide 11.2 mA by 16 mA, and multiply it with 100. And do the simple math calculation, it will give you 70%. Let's take one more example to convert PSI signal into milliamp signal. As you can see, in this example, I am going to show, how to convert 11.4 pounds per square inch signal into milliamp signal by using graphical calculation method. As you can see from this graph, the thick line is 8.4 pounds per square inch long. It is the distance between 11.4 pounds per square inch and 3 pounds per square inch over the total length of 12 pounds per square inch. So, to convert 11.4 pounds per square inch signal into milliamps, divide 8.4 pounds per square inch by 12 pounds per square inch, and multiply it with 16 milliamperes. And add zero offset of 4 milliamperes, and do simple math calculation you will get 15.2 mA. In other words, 11.4 pounds per square inch signal is equivalent to 15.2 mA signal. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you like our content, then please hit the like button. It motivates us to make more informative videos like this in future. And please share this informative video with your friends.